Well, good morning again this Thursday morning and welcome from me, Golf, to Kings at Home Daily. Uh, we're going through the book of 2 Corinthians, uh, just taking a few verses each morning to encourage our hearts, set our compass, as it were, as we head off into the demands of the day. Hope you're keeping well. Hope you've got a song in your heart. Uh, if you haven't, get one in there quick, because... Uh, Worshipping the Lord is a key part of our warfare as, as followers of, of the Lord Jesus. Okay, so we are in 2 Corinthians and chapter 4, now, and we're at verse 1. We've got just four verses this morning, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, 1 to 4. And as always, let's ask the Holy Spirit to come and speak to us. Lord, we could just rush through this and give mental assent to a few thoughts. Yes, 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 very nice, off we go. No, Lord, we pr thank you that your word is alive and, and it, it, it can work deeply in our hearts. It can, it, it can bring change. It, it, can, it, 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 can, it can do wonderful things. It can encourage us. And I pray this morning your word will be alive to everyone tuning in this morning. In Jesus' name. Amen. Again, the background, Paul. He's been under pressure, facing criticism. He's in prison. There are some fancy teachers in the church in Corinth who are very grand and, and so on and he's been, he's been given the put down and uh, uh, he's been really just uh, holding his ground saying, look, it's not about me, it's about the, the calling that I have as a follower of Jesus. So if you're facing discouragement, this will be good for you this morning. Verse 1, therefore, since through God's mercy we have this ministry... We do not lose heart. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that beautiful? Folks, if you're a follower of Jesus, there's a calling on your life. It's unique to you. There's a calling on your life. You've been called by the Lord. It's, it's not just people who preach and things who are, who've got a calling. No, no, no. You have a calling on your life. You are uniquely precious to the Lord. And you can reflect his glory in a way unique to you, wherever you're going today. Therefore, since through God's mercy we have this calling, this ministry, we don't lose heart. It's all about the mercy and the kindness of the Lord. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? It's, it's so good to come back again and again to the mercy and the kindness of God doesn't make us lazy. Some people think that the grace of God, the mercy of God makes us lazy. Oh, it's all right. It's just, you know, he loves me, whatever I do. No, 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 no. When you really understand the mercy of God, his kindness, chesed, we've used that word again and again in the old, from the Hebrew word, that covenant love, the loving kindness of God. Oh, Give us a big vision of that, Lord. I pray. Give us a big vision of your loving kindness, your mercy, mercy from the throne. <laughs> Lord, I pray this morning, give us all a, a big understanding, overwhelming sense of your mercy. Mercy that calls us. Mercy that keeps us. Mercy that will bring us home one day. Therefore, since through God's mercy we have this calling, we don't lose heart. It's so easy to lose heart, isn't it? it, it, it you know, um, hey, just listening to the news can make you lose heart. Oh, what a difficult world, what a grim world. Um, so many ways. It'll, we're going to see in a minute that, um, well, maybe tomorrow, I don't know, the, we've got an enemy who who seeks to to, to discourage us. We'll, we'll look a bit more at that in a moment, um, folks. It's we need to resist it, and uh, you've heard me and others say many times. You know, it's 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 important that we learn to speak to ourselves. <laughs> you know, don't listen to ourselves. Oh dear, yes, I feel rather, but, but speak to ourselves. Hang on a minute. I'm a child of the King. I belong to the Lord. His loving kindness has arrested me. And it's, he, 
yeah, he is constantly um, thinking for me in love. So, through the, God's mercy, we, we don't lose heart. Rather, we renounce secret and shameful ways. We don't use deception or distort the word of God. Uh, again, these other teachers, perhaps they were uh, twisting God's word and uh, being very clever in the way that they that they preached and so on. And and and, and Paul just saying, no, no, no. I I take it as it is. It's, it's God's word to me. It might appear foolish at times. It might, you know, a cross, what's that all about? Uh, it might appear foolish. We're not going to, uh, we're not going to let go. It's precious. It's precious. On the contrary, by setting forth the truth plainly, we commend ourselves to everyone's conscience in the sight of God. We, we love your word, Lord. It's truth. It, it, it might not be, it, 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 others may uh, ridicule it. Oh, surely you don't believe that, do you? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. This is where we get to the enemy. Verse 3. If our gospel is veiled, it's veiled to those who are perishing. The God of this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers so they can't see the light of the gospel that displays the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. Here's a bit about the enemy who blinds eyes and he can do, he, to some extent, he can do that with, with you and I as Christians. Just, just blind us to the kindness of God and the, the, the grace of God. But more importantly, for people who are lost, the, the, the Bible often is it, just a closed book. And it's because the God of this world has blinded their eyes. And, uh, you know, it's, it's because of our, our rebellion. It's because of uh, our hearts have been, uh, you know, as, as, as human beings, the Bible says we were born in sin. We've, we've turned our hearts away from God. We've gone our own way. And uh, as Paul himself says, it, it's foolish to those who are perishing. And the gospel does sometimes sound foolish. And, and sometimes you might feel when you're perhaps sharing your faith with, 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 with a friend or a neighbour, um, you might feel kind of oh, this is going to this is going to sound crazy. I think we all feel that to some extent. But when we realise that actually what we have are words of life, and that we've got an enemy who wants to blind people's eyes so that they walk blindly into a lost eternity, we want to be making sure that we don't let hold let go of our grasp of wonderful truth and that we, we pray for our neighbors and friends and family members because it's a do you know what it's a miracle every time someone comes to the lord it's a miracle do you remember jesus conversation with nicodemus um how how is it possible how can we be born again and jesus said well it's impossible the wind blows wherever it wills so it is with the holy spirit blowing into people's lives that they'll be born again now I think it was last week I was talking about this fact that we're in a partnership with the Lord. Somehow our prayers really, really, really matter. And so thinking of people's eyes blinded, let's, let's, let's kind of focus in there as we close this morning. Who, who can you think of right now who's at the moment their eyes are blinded to the Lord? Maybe they've never been a follower of Jesus and they've, uh, it's, it, it, they're just closed off. You think of someone, we're going to pray in a moment. Or maybe someone who used to walk with the Lord and they, uh, they've just lost their desire and their, their, under, their, 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 their heart for the Lord. Can you th have you got some people in your mind? I've got, I've got some in my mind. We're going to pray that, Lord, that, that the Lord in his m kindness and mercy would blow upon them this morning. And begin, a, and begin to do something, begin to open the eyes of their heart to the gospel, to words of life. Should we do that? Let's, 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 let's bring those people now before the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the miracle of, of human birth. Beautiful, amazing, staggering. How much more the miracle of spiritual birth when you breathe on us and we for us when we first came to know you lord what a miracle what a joy and now we pray for 
family members, friends, who don't know you, whose eyes have been closed. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask in the name of Jesus, in your great mercy, that you would blow upon them, breathe upon them, soften their hearts, open their hearts to the wonder, the miracle of who you are, Lord Jesus, and what you've done for us. So, Lord, we, 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 we lift them to you and we pray, give, we ask for opportunities to sow a seed here and there to speak of you. We pray that the witness of our lives would play a part too. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Have a great day and uh, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye now.